What's up, everyone? So check it out. I don't know if you guys recall, but we introduced you guys to a big brake kit made by this company, Paragon, for Phase uh, SR Plus Model 3 rear wheel drive. She was looking for a really affordable big brake kit that could just help her at the track um, without burying her in costs. And we did just that. You know, she's been testing and running successfully the Paragon big brake kit. We did compare those calipers to the AP Racing Competition caliper. Uh, simply because they do use the same pad shape. So we'll put a link to that video right here if you guys want to check that out. Well, in this episode, we are going to introduce you guys to actually their OEM two-piece rotor replacement discs for the Model 3 performance. Uh, and some of the Model Y performance trims as well, depending on your production date. So as you may or may not know, I think it was August 15th of 2022, Tesla opted to actually uh, eliminate the Brembo rear caliper from the Model Y performance. So for that production date moving forward, it actually would take the rotor from a long range Model 3 or Model Y. Okay, so back to this. Um, we initially contacted Paragon because, and this is actually for Tim's Model 3 performance and soon to be his Highland performance. Uh, but we initially contacted Paragon, one for support, um, and two, because they actually have a caliper relocation kit for the Brembo caliper, uh, the, the performance Brembo caliper, which is very unique to them that we have not seen available from any other company. And uh, we were gonna go that route, but once we got the wheel fitment template, we realized that it will not clear our 19 inch Aspira Forge AF10 wheels that we use for the track. In fact, I don't know if it'll clear much of any 19 inch wheels, uh, one piece wheels. So. You'd probably have to run a 20 inch wheel to get that caliper relocation kit. So we had to take a step back and go back to a factory rotor size setup. And that's what we have here. So this here is the rear rotor. Take a look. It's super lightweight. I'll go ahead and weigh that for you right now. I do not have a factory rotor on me. We probably have it published in a video somewhere what that is. But the rear rotor is 11.2 pounds, not too shabby. This here is the front rotor. Check this out. These are all OEM sizes. You have directional vanes, so that's a huge upgrade compared to the OEM rotor. Two-piece rotor, of course. We did receive the hard anodized uh, mil-spec hats. The front rotor is 19 pounds. Um, so, you know, a couple things I want you guys to be aware of that not all rotors are made equally. They will have, very likely have different metallurgies for the actual disc itself. Um, so while we don't know how these are gonna do right now, once Tim gets these on the track, as he's gonna be tracking all summer long in both his 2018 Model 3 performance. Um, so we're gonna initially put these on that, uh, along with testing some new um, Winmax pads. For those of you who don't know, we've been running endless pads religiously and we love those pads, but the purpose of these rotors and these Winmax pads is to find an even more affordable setup for somebody who is tracking more frequently or wants to reduce their cost of goods. Uh, so that's, that's basically our effort uh, in moving forward with this. We'll be able to see how these hold up to some of the other products we've been running, um, be able to document what some of the compromises might have been, and that way you guys can make an informed decision whether you want to continue what's been proven for us uh, or if you want to move down and, and see if, you know, something a little bit more affordable will work. So the front rotor is retails for 900 bucks for the pair. The rear rotor retails for 850 bucks for the pair. The Winmax pads, I believe, uh, I'll probably have to show this in the description below, but they're probably in the, I think, $250 to $300 price range, depending on which compound you go with. Um, so we will be going with the W5 compound initially, and then we'll eventually move to the W7 compound. These should directly correlate and compare to the endless EX99 pads, as well as some of the Cobalt XR2 pads that we are running on our AP Racing brake kits. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna throw these things on Tim's Model 3 Performance, his first one, um, and I believe he'll have a track day coming up pretty soon. Uh, his first track day is gonna be at Thunder Hill with this setup. And we'll keep you guys posted on the results. So if you guys can, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you do like the content and you want to keep watching what we do and what we share, please hit that bell uh, so you get notifications. Uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon account. It's patreon.com forward slash Our membership's really cheap. It's five bucks a month. Donate, support us, 
however you can. We greatly appreciate it. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>